And welcome back to the Mozilla Festival. We're lucky to talk with Jan Foresta, senior fire starter at BBC IMD. So, Jan, how was your session today? Um, it was really good. Um, unfortunately, we ran out of time before we got to do people, get people to do people prototyping. But um, lots of questions, lots of thoughts, you know, the usual. Um, so, I'm happy. I think everyone else has kind of gone away and gone, oh, we should check this out. We should definitely. Yeah, uh, have a look at this at least, so that's really good. So for the people who are not here today, what was it about exactly? Oh man, um, I don't even know where to start with perceptive media. It's basically storytelling, um, how storytelling used to be, um, you know, with um, you know, your content, context, your uh, body language, all that stuff included in the story. Um, so, you know, you can imagine you sit around a campfire and instead of just telling the story plain, you know, you're kind of like, everyone's cold, so you kind of like speed the story along because, you know, people want to go to sleep or people are like really getting into it. So you, you know, kind of increase the pauses and make them more staggered and stuff like that. It's all the, all that kind of stuff. You know, so you tell the same story uh, in context, but you're actually um, changing it slightly, you know, so it kind of fits the the kind of the mood um, better. So it's also dramatization a bit uh, because the context uh, is, does matter. I saw you doing the uh, session and you were adapting to the crowd yourself, uh, pacing down or accelerating. So what did the uh, participants uh, got to do today uh, with you? Yeah, I think, you know, so, you know, I was doing, it's what humans do. You know, I kind of will change the pacing depending on who I'm talking to, and yeah, it's just what we normally do. Uh, participants were mainly kind of asking, you know, questions and kind of like just kind of like throwing up, you know, kind of thoughts and ideas that they had, and that's really good. It's really useful. So hopefully, you know, we'll get some people, you know, to kind of consider, you know, building some stuff with popcorn and and what we've done uh, with the Perceptive Media JS already. You know, hopefully, combine the two which will be incredible. So you're hoping that the new uh, Popcorn Maker uh, version plus uh, your ways of storytelling uh, make some new projects. What about the Ziga project or the new storytelling project we hear about? I, I, you know, so one of the things I did before I came here was I looked at the list of, um, of all the sessions and Ziga was one of the ones I was looking at. I wanted to attend. I attended it, but I was a bit kind of a little bit confused. And I was going to catch them um, at some point afterwards and say, look, so tell me more about Ziga. How does it work? What What is it trying to do? What's the kind of like the aim? And see if there's any kind of crossover with what we're trying to do with perceptive media. If there is, then then great. Yeah, we can like, talk to Ziga and get them kind of interested and, you know, kind of really consider, you know, kind of like perceptive media. If not, then, you know, we'll just have a good chat and... And, and leave it at that. If people want to know more about Perceptive Media, is there a website they can uh, visit? Yeah, best place to go for Perceptive Media right now is futurebroadcasts, with an S on the end, dot com. Yeah, that's got um, a demo that people could actually try out, um, and also some links to the R&D blog and, um, and other kind of material which is related to Perceptive Media. All right, thank you so much, Jan, for talking to us. This was Mark for Vision on TV.